In fishing, there's quite a bit of bullying that goes on, I will admit to that. And one thing I bully people about is not having a tiller boat. Paul Castellano from Cast Adventures does have a tiller boat, but what he doesn't have is these amazing things right here. These are called, uh, whether they're splash guards or wave whackers, you name it, but it's when you're controlling the boat from the back in reverse, what it does is it stops waves that crash into the back of the transom here from coming into the boat. This is a huge thing for boat control because now it allows me to not be afraid of hitting those waves a bit. Do you wanna be involved at all? That was fantastic what this, you did. This is Paul Castellano right here. New owner of some beautiful splash guards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this super simple and we're gonna size them up approximately for where we want them to be and then start drilling holes. Is the shot staying too boring for too long? You, are you exploring the studio space with the zoom once in a while or are you just like, just dead? Because I could use a tripod for this. I do have a tripod here. Do you want us to use a tripod? Well, we can't pay you if you're not gonna add anything. Okay. okay. You look very comfortable. I'm trying to be Cameraman Terrell. That's my number one. Stability and complacency are two different things. Right now you're being complacent. You're not adding any creativity. You're not very, moving around. Very pushy. One thing what on earth did you do? The, it was broken. Improvising right here. I'm preparing our screws with 3M Marine adhesive. Awesome. Do a little step one with your finger. I don't know what step one is. I've never done this. No, you, you just you go step one. Step one. So we've got the port side splash guard right here in hand. This is the main mounting bracket that's going to go on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on and rather than trying to figure out with measurements or something where exactly it should be, we're just going to actually place it on here. And I've got two considerations here. I don't want it jammed too close to the motor that affects my steering, but it needs to be close enough that the water doesn't splash between the motor and the splash guard. And I also want it to be up as high as I can for the maximum usage of this splash guard without getting too high that it's not being properly reinforced and supported by the brackets. So I'm pretty happy with this area here. Paul, do you wanna just turn that motor a bit and see if that's gonna be a problem with the splash guard? Looks pretty good, touching, little bit of rubbing, but nothing too extreme. So I'm happy with where it is here. We're gonna get Paul to fire up the engine on his big power drill. We're gonna punch one of these holes through right now, put the screw in, and then we're gonna make sure it's perfectly level and put the second screw in. Oh yeah, how's that going, Paul? Okay, we got one hole drilled. Silicone's always a good idea whenever you're doing anything like this and you're dealing with your transom that you properly seal the hole. Just put a little silicone on there. So we got one in place. We got the bracket on. We're gonna put the splash guard back on. Level her out, make sure we have her exactly where we want her before drilling that second hole. Uh, do you have a level, Paul, or how are we gonna level this? No level? So you're not really in a man's garage. We're in his wife's garage. Till the last! Okay, do you wanna eyeball it? Till the last. We've resorted to just eyeballing it. A guesstimate suddenly. Looks good. Okay, so you wanna come drill this hole or should I? Hey, bring in the boat bit. I gotta drill some holes in my boat. Looks good. Cool. We got the primary bracket in place. Just gonna peel off this protective coating on the white cap. You can see it's tinted, just like my daddy's Lambo. Ooh, is that ever nice. Oh. Now we've got these two brackets right here, and these are gonna support the top part of the white cap. So what we wanna do is we wanna place them as far apart as possible. Maybe I'll even slide that a little bit further over. And then this one is gonna be up here on the side, and that way we're supporting the far end on each side of the splash guard. We're gonna line those up, and then we're gonna drill pilot holes. Okay, ready? <laughs> Hi, mom! The, the key thing is that that's flat. This way against the plastic. So we've got it right to the outside for maximum support. We're overhanging the bracket, the L bracket, a quarter of an inch, just like the instructions told us to. And we're just gonna punch through. Paul Castellano has actually drilled through the wall of the casing. Is that toxic? That just got on your fingers. Go wash your hands with soap and water. We've got one hole drilled here. Make sure it's flush, drill the second hole through. Make sure you line that up in the center of the hole because it'll wander. And screw in. Things are really starting to come together. We're gonna line up the second bracket here, keeping in mind that we might have some vibration here. So we're gonna make sure we make that quarter of an inch off of the boat so there's no vibration with this on the boat when we're running. And the only thing left to do is drill the final support holes for these bolts that are gonna have wing nuts on them. And that is what is gonna make these secured in the bracket and also very easily removable. If for any reason, for whatever you're fishing for, or for trailer on the highway, you wanna take these out. We need a 5 sixteenths. This drill bit says hashtag tiller life. I want Paul to have a bigger role in this video, that would be nice. 
Because you're just going to speed it up. You talk about splash cards, all this stuff, it just yeah. going to fast forward through yeah. and you have the final product. And yeah. I did my big 3M part. Oh, I saw what you were doing there. Yeah. 3M sponsorship tied in. Working on it. First wing nut and bolt here. We are going to put it in from the outside. And that way, if we're fighting a fish or something, we don't want anything out here that can catch on. So the wing nut is going to be on the inside. Cool. You all good? So we've got the two removable bolts in place. We've got the mounting bracket on the bottom here. Overall, this is locked in, rock hard, ready to go pound some waves on big water. We're going to show you the other one. The functionality on this tiller boat just went up through the roof. Ready to go? Awesome. I'd like to point out another important tip. Reading the instructions, okay? They're in here for a reason. That's why we're reading them. They're in here for a reason. These are the instructions. The instructions. 